Um, I can see you're all a bit confused, um, wondering what the fuck a fetus is doing on stage. Um, I know, it's, I'm, I'm with the blazer, it's sort of like a cabbage patch kid at a wedding. But, um, I, I swear I'm going to be getting ID'd when I'm 60, but so, so long as I'm still attracting the eight-year-olds, I don't mind. Um, I've, I've actually decided to sort of commemorate this venture in stand-up and this competition by growing a beard. And I'm sure you'll all agree that for just 19 years, this is quite impressive. Um, there's one thing I found with stand-up in my, in my limited experience is it really does toy with your anxieties. So like, in five minutes' time, I'll be at a low because you've all thrown bottles of like, piss and beer at me uh, after seeing me for this po-faced embryonic cunt. Whereas right now, I'm at a high because the welcome you gave me is the biggest compliment I've had since my mum decided not to abort. So, <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, my mum is a typical Daily Mail reader, so she loves everything except blacks, Jews, gays, Muslims, Asians, tourists, gypsies, women, immigrants, and people who phone elderly actors to tell them they're fucking their granddaughter. <laughs> this woman's got a chip on the shoulder about the youth of today, uh, she, uh, as, as though we're the ones bringing it down, bringing society down. She, she just turns out this stuff like, It's the Alcapopsh. It's the Alcapopsh to do in it. And she hasn't got a Brummie accent, it's just I can't think of any other way to fit a Brummie accent in, and I quite like doing it. And she uh, so goes, she Alcapops, and the Facebook, they get the Alcapops from the Facebook. And, and, and they wear hoodies, which, which, which are like a, a burqa for the white working class man, but you can't shave burqa because of political correctness. Oh, but the, um, uh, and they've got fellatio, oh no. Don't talk to me about fellatio, you are rubbish at it. But, um, but seriously, you lot have been absolutely lovely. Um, I've, I, when I, uh, I was a bit nervous about this, so I asked my friends, what should I do? And uh, should I do anything different? They said, no, just do what, you, do what you normally do, but whatever you do, don't make an enemy of Steve Bennett. He's the editor of Chortle, in Steve we trust. And um, <laughs> so the reason why you probably didn't laugh as much as you would have done had I done my normal set is because my normal set involves me implying that Steve was uh, complicit in the Diana murder, the Matt abduction, and the 9-11 attacks. Uh, thanks a lot, you've been absolutely lovely. Have a wonderful evening.